This video will guide you through installing your high quality 30 foot commercial flagpole. To install your flagpole, you'll need the following supplies. First, dig a hole approximately three feet, six inches deep and 33 inches diameter at the top, tapered to 22 inches at the bottom. Using the one inch auger bit, Drill a hole in the bottom deep enough to insert the rod attached to the bottom of the ground sleeve. Place the ground sleeve with steel plate and rod into the hole. The hole should be deep enough that the included ground sleeve with steel support plate rests on the bottom of the hole and the top of the ground sleeve sits about one and a half to two inches above the ground. Cover the top of the ground sleeve with duct tape to prevent concrete from entering during the pour. Pour one bag of mixed up concrete into the hole around the ground sleeve. Take care not to get any concrete inside the ground sleeve. Check that the ground sleeve is level by measuring the sleeve vertically along the outside. Continue pouring concrete while frequently checking your ground sleeve remains level. Stop pouring concrete once the hole is filled to about ground level or just below ground level if you'll be covering it with dirt. Remove the flagpole from the shipping tube and lay it near the ground sleeve. Install the truck pulley at the top of the flagpole using caution not to cross thread the coarse aluminum pipe threads. Some of the truck's pipe threads may still be visible when completely tightened. Attach the gold anodized ball topper to the truck pulley and tighten the Allen head set screw and lock nut. Thread the rope through the truck pulley and tie the ends together into a double fisherman's knot. Locate the pre-drilled holes for the cleat and screw the cleat onto the pole using Allen screws provided. Prop up the base of the flagpole with two bags of sand to remove weight from the flash collar. To set the flagpole in place, use lift equipment or have two to three people walk the flagpole upright as we show. Start at the top of the flagpole while another person holds the base down and guides the pole into the sleeve. The flagpole should be lowered gently so as not to damage the four centering guides at the bottom. The flagpole will be centered if properly set inside the four guides at the bottom of the sleeve. Using a level, check that the flagpole is level in both directions and then wedge wood shims to temporarily secure the pole from moving prior to the sand being poured and tamped. As one person slowly pours the sand, another should be tamping it down to eliminate voids. Check level of flagpole often to ensure it hasn't moved. When the sand is within two inches from the top of the sleeve, pull the shims out and continue to fill until the sand reaches one inch below the lip of the sleeve. This allows room for the silicone caulk to seal the sand from getting wet. Apply silicone caulk liberally over the sand to create a waterproof barrier between the pole and the ground sleeve. Slide the flash collar down to cover the top of the ground sleeve. Attach the flag snap clips by looping the rope through the bottom swivel hole and back over the snap clip. Adjust the snap clip spacing for the size of your flag. Hoist the flag and wrap the rope around the cleat to secure. Now enjoy your beautiful, high quality commercial flagpole and flag.